सो हे गाइज दिस इज दीपेश एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द फिफ्थ लेक्चर एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन ओके सो आई हैव ओपन अप माई जुपीटर नोटबुक एंड लेट मी नेम दिस लेट मी नेम दिस आर लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन ओके नाउ ऑल द कोड ओके ऑल द कोड इन दिस वीडियो Uh, you can find it on my github okay so if you go to if you go to my profile uh on my pro, uh, github profile you will find a repository named uh, mldl codes just click on it and you will find the co code for all the lectures okay so don't worry even if you don't get uh, get this in this video get the concepts in this video uh you can just download the code on your local system and just play around with it okay now the data set that we'll be using is called as diabetes data set so just type in diabetes data set and just click on the first thing that you will uh, find here now this is basically a, a diabetes data set it consists of uh, various uh, variables like uh, the pregnancy glucose blood pressure of the patients and it cons it and it also consists of an categorical variable uh, that is the outcome column basically it consists of uh, 0 and 1 where 1 basically represents that the patient has diabetes and 0 represents that the patient does not have diabetes okay so each each row here each row basically represents data about one particular uh, patient okay so just download this data set okay just download it okay once it's downloaded uh, just copy its path so we can read it using uh, pandas okay so let me just copy my uh, copy the path on my local system okay so let's in let me save the path here okay all right so let's import some important libraries first so we'll import numpy uh we'll import pandas okay so let me create some more columns here some more cells here all right now let's read our data set so i will write df is equal to pd dot read csv and i will give it a path and also let's print the uh, first 10 rows of the data set okay uh, let me run it again all right so as you can see basically we have we we have somewhere around 6 or 7 uh, columns and we have one categorical column which is uh, which which is our target uh, variable okay so each row each row basically represents data about uh, about one patient okay, all right and uh, the data we won't be using all these variables we'll only use three or four of these variables okay So now what we will do is we'll first check if there is there any null values on our data set. So I all I will do is df dot info, and uh, it should print some uh, info about our data set. So as you can see, we have in total nine columns, and uh, we have we have about seven hundred and sixty eight samples. Okay, and uh, no the there are no null values in our data set. okay so we don't worry about hand we don't have to worry about handling null values yet okay so the columns that i will be using are uh, we'll use glucose uh, we'll use bmi so we'll use glucose bmi we'll use age and we'll use pregnancy okay so what i will do is i will choose those four columns and we'll drop the uh, other other columns so let me just copy the name of uh, some of the 
columns here. Alright. So what I will do is I will we will will create a create our x variable and this will represent our input. So we'll do df and then we'll just paste this here. Okay. So now we basically what we are doing here is we are basically uh, dropping all uh, all the other columns uh, excluding uh, pregnancy glucose bmi and age okay these are our uh, independent variables we'll use these variables to predict the probability that a person has diabetes or not all right and our target variable will be y which would be our which would be the outcome column okay so the outcome column so let's run this and also let me print both of them so we'll print x so as you can see we have uh, these four independent variables or rather four features and uh, and the y basically consists of our uh, categorical variable okay y is basically our uh, target variable as you can see we have 0 and 1 where 1 basically represents that the person has diabetes and 0 basically represents that the person does not have diabetes all right so the next thing that we will do is we will split our data okay so all right data splitting so next thing what i will do is we will split the data so for splitting our data what we will do is we will import uh, train test split uh, method from sklearn. So I will do from sklearn dot model selection import train test split. Okay. Now what we'll do is what this function returns is basically it basically takes takes our x and y and it returns uh, uh, it basically splits our data and returns different parts of that data. So x it will return x train, then it will return x test, then it will return y train and y test. So so this is the train test split method, and all it will take all that it takes is just a x and a y, and we it also takes the uh, the percentage of uh, how much how percentage of how much uh, data do we want to use uh, for testing so if i give let's say if i give 0 0.3 then this 0 0.3 basically represent 30 percent so so what it will do is it will use 70 percent of the data for training and uh, uh, it will basically use the 30 percent for testing okay so let's run this Let me also train uh, both x train and uh, x test just to confirm them. Okay, let's now let's print x test. All right. So we have successfully uh, splitted our data set into training data training set and train set. Now the only thing that uh, we have to do is we have to uh, train our logistic regression model. So let's import logistic regression so from sklearn dot linear model import logistic regression okay so what we'll do is we'll create an object of this class of this class so model is equal to logistic regression and the next thing that we have to do is we have to train the model so what we'll do is model dot fit and we have to pass this fit method of training data set so i will do x train and i will also pass it y train so let's run it and see if uh, this train successfully or not okay so it has completed training now since we had very few uh, rows you know we had only around 537 uh, samples for training data set that's why it, uh, it took only two or three seconds now 
let's uh, what we can do now is we can use this model to make our predictions okay so what i will do is i will basically use uh, i will use values from the x test okay now let me print as the x test again and uh, let me also print the y test again so that we uh, we can confirm our prediction okay so now what we, we can do is we can do model dot predict probability okay so this model do, uh, model probab dot predict probability basically uh, takes in our x okay it takes in our x and it basically uh, returns the probability uh, for each class okay uh, it basically returns probability for each class so in our data set we have two classes right so it will basically return uh, return an array of two uh, two no two probabilities okay okay so what we'll do is from our test set we'll just let's pick this for first sample let's pick data uh, some data from this first sample now the y we know the actual value for the first sample is zero which means that this person does not have diabetes so let's basically, let's see how the what values does the uh, model predicts okay let let me adjust this okay so let's uh, define the, the y variable and also let's print it okay let's print it okay. so now what this method will return is basically it will return the probability for each class okay so it will return two things it will return what does the model it will return the probability uh, that the model thinks the person has diabetes okay and it will also return the probability uh, for the for the class that model uh, that the person does not have diabetes so let's run this okay so as you can see we have got two probability values here the first probability value is for our first class which is 0 and the second probability value is for our second class which is 1 now we know that uh, the actual value was 0 okay actual value was 0 which which indicates that the person does not have uh, the person does not have diabetes and as we can see the probability for the first class is very high okay it is high as compared to the second class which means our which means our model has accurately predicted uh, our, which basically means that our model has accurately predicted that the person does not have diabetes okay now if you don't want to see these probabilities if you just directly want the model to predict the uh, if you just want to see the uh, class then what you can do is you can do uh, model dot predict and then you, you can just uh, you can just pass your x values to this uh, method to this function now what this function will do is it will it will not uh, it will it won't print the probabilities it will directly print the class itself so let's print it okay as you can see the model has predicted the class to be zero which 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 is also the true value now let's try it for some another value okay um let's try it for the last value uh okay let's try it for the last value so what we'll do is we'll do i is equal to model dot predict pro probability and we'll pass the x values to it okay so let's again print the values now we know the actual value is zero here okay now let's see uh, the basically this person does not have diabetes now let's see what our uh, model predicts okay now the again as we can see the uh, the probability for zero is high the probability for the first class is very high as compared to a second one which means our model has accurately predicted that the person does not have diabetes 
okay so uh, this is this is how basically we uh, train logistic regression and this is how we basically do prediction now just for the uh, now we have we have divided our data set into train data training data set and testing data set right so what we can do is we can also calculate the accuracy of our model okay so what i will do is i will write accuracy is equal to model dot score and i will pass it our x test and our y test and then let's print the accuracy let's print accuracy okay uh, as you can see our accuracy is 0.73 which is which is 73 percent so our uh, total accuracy of our model is 73 percent which is still uh, quite good because we haven't used the entire data set you know we only use four uh, features here we, we also had uh, other remaining features like pregnancy uh, blood pressure etc you know so yeah this is how we basically train logistic regression in the next upcoming videos we'll talk about another uh, uh, machine learning problem called as clustering problem